it looks as though it would have been very difficult whether it was autonomous or not but what is the reaction from Uber since yesterday? Uh, they've been pretty quiet you know they, they say they're still working with authorities in Tempe um, I think what the autonomous vehicle community a lot of companies uh, at large are still waiting to see if, if there was a perception issue if there was an issue with the car uh, if there was an issue with the Volvo that Uber is using uh, or if it, like the police have suggested that it's something that's just purely unavoidable if it was human or, or software in control nothing real update from Uber but as you say other companies listening out the likes of Apple, Waymo, GM all building their own autonomous vehicles or testing that sort of technology are we really yet to hear or see any reaction from these sorts of companies? Uh, we've seen some reaction Toyota has suspended um, their autonomous testing they put out a statement this morning saying that they're concerned about the emotional state of their of their safety drivers uh, GM Cruise has said that they're they're continuing to plan there's no stops they're they're planning to launch a service next year uh, we've not heard from Waymo which is considered the, the technical leader in the field uh, we've yet to hear from Apple uh, there is one city Boston has actually put an ultimatum uh, is temporarily pausing all tests there they have a startup called called Newtonomy on the test in the city. Uh, we did hear that Pittsburgh, where Uber is testing and other companies, has said that it's business that, continue, that these companies can continue to test on the road. So they're not changing any plans. There's an interesting piece out today really showing that perhaps Apple is getting in into auto, autonomous vehicles more, far more than we perhaps had perceived, particularly in California. Can you update us on that? Yeah, as far as we know, it sounds like Apple has more cars on the road than, than Waymo. Um, part of that may be that Waymo's been doing this for a very long time, uh, and, and they've been testing California roads um, for, for almost uh, nine years now. Uh, and what Waymo is, you know, California has been a little less receptive and open. They have laws now in the books that there has to be a human in, in the vehicle. And there are states like Arizona and Texas and Washington that um, are a little more deregulated. And so you have companies like Uber and Waymo just testing a lot more miles now um, in Arizona than they would be in California.